Hey guys, so I guess I'm doing a voice reveal right now, but today I'm making a very straightforward step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the text animation in the beginning. So first, right-click new text, type whatever your text is. I'm just going to do what the intro was. Um, I'm going to go up here, control, double click this, which makes the anchor point in the middle. And then I'm going to scale it up to around 160. And I can also go to align, um, make sure the text layer is selected, and you can also center it in the screen. Now we are going to drop down the text thing, and then animate position, animate scale, animate rotation, and tracking. But we want it on the expression selector as we're making an expression text animation. So we're gonna go to add, selector, expression. So now it's under the expression, expression selector and you can just ignore the range one. So now for the settings, position, negative 70, scale, zero, and rotation, 10, and tracking type after. You can leave tracking amount alone. Um, yeah, and so now it looks like this, but it's there's no movement because we have no expression yet. So now we're gonna drop down the expression selector and drop down amount. And this is where our expression goes. I have a expression that'll be linked in the description on what to copy and paste. So it should look like this. Um, and you can also change the settings, but after we add the select, uh, expression, it'll look like this. And yeah, the animation's done, but you can change any settings. If you wanna increase the frequency, it'll just move more, like bounce more, I guess. And you can also change the position to like positive 70 or whatever value, and that'll make it go up. Um, you can change the rotation to negative, that will make it go the other way. And yeah, I just am telling you guys my specific settings. Okay, this is an edit. I don't know why I originally forgot to explain the tracking amount, but so this is it without the tracking amount, right? The finished animation. But if we change it to like, let's say 10, you can see the difference that it moves like more. It like has more movement, you know? So that's, um, you can play around with that. Uh, I usually do have this kind of off because I like to keep things just like simple, but I um, forgot I was going to include it in the video to explain it because I think it's like really cool as well. Um, you can also do the before or before and after, which just means like it'll move at the beginning and like at the end. But yeah, so you can play around with that and yeah. Um, you can also add deep glow, radius 500, exposure 0.4, and yeah, that's about it. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna try to make future tutorials, um, because they're long overdue. So let me know in the comments if you want me to make any tutorials on stuff I've done in my edits. Alright, bye!